Hi guys, so this is going to be the video that um, if you remember in my last June and Wish haul I said at the beginning I was going to explain why I haven't been on YouTube that much and um, why I haven't really been watching very many YouTube videos and um, just generally what I'm getting fed up of actually. Um, okay so some people may see seen this as a bit of a rant I don't really mean it to be a rant I'm just going to be honest with you guys really um, as you guys know I'm always honest I tell you my honest opinions about everything and um, so yeah here goes okay so lately on YouTube I have noticed that oh god I don't really know where to start okay um, People are just putting out videos for the sheer heck of it, sometimes I think, um, just to try and get the views. Uh, basically, obviously you guys know that you can monetize um, a lot of your videos, and um, I just feel that sometimes people are just putting them out just to try and get the money. I also feel that when people are doing haul videos, they're just buying a lot of random stuff that they don't actually need or that they're gonna use just to purely make the videos um, and this I kind of find a little bit boring because oh pardon me you can even tell the person you can even sorry bleh, you can even tell with the person that has ordered the, the stuff that they don't even really want it. I mean, I know I've ordered a couple of things that I've forgotten about and then I've decided, well, I'm not gonna use it but I know somebody who will or I'll keep it in my drawer and then I think, oh yeah, I've got that, I'm gonna use that. But a lot of people I feel are just trying to get the subscribers and get, get, get you know, the monetization and, and, and stuff like that. Like, yeah, having subscribers is brilliant because, you know, it helps your channel and stuff. I get that. But I also feel with the way that they're making the videos, it's kind of fake. I don't like fake people. I really don't. And I feel that... But as you guys know, I if I haven't had a video out for quite a while, I will say, like, I'm really sorry I haven't had a video out for a while. Like, I've been ill. Like, at the minute, I'm pregnant and I can't take my mental health medication. So, every day is a struggle for me. Now, that's that's a whole other issue that I'm going to get onto, actually. Um, but, I just feel, I mean, I'm not going to name and shame people because... I'm sure some of you will probably get who I'm on about anyway. I'm not only on about one person either. I'm I'm on about like, you know, several people. Um, and I, I used to really enjoy watching YouTube videos, but at the minute I just, I'm just thinking like, what, what on earth? Why are you like pretending to be something that you're not? And you can tell that they're pretending, and you can tell that they're putting on a fake person, and this whole, oh, nah, nah. Uh, oh god, it, it, it just really infuriates me. And like, down to little things about, I don't, I don't know, like, everybody struggles with mental health issues, I'm pretty sure. Like, loads of us have been diagnosed with this, that, and the other, but we don't all act and play on it and that frustrates me as well because yes they're illnesses yes they're struggles yes we all like to try and tell our story but i mean come on almost every video that is put out by certain people they bang on about it and it's just like it's not really needed like don't go looking for the sympathy vote like we'll give you our sympathy and stuff like when it is actually genuinely needed don't go looking for it all the time like that that frustrates me never once have i asked for anybody's sympathy or <sighs> like i don't try and bang on about my illnesses and i could i could do but i don't and like that really frustrates me as well and like <sighs> I just oh man I don't I, there's so many places that this conversation could go and like oh man 
and it just really frustrates me it really does and like when I sit there and I watch the videos I just think oh my god I haven't got a violin for you anymore it snapped like stop attention seeking it, it's not worth it um, it's really not you know like don't cry wolf too many times because that one time when you're actually going to need somebody and you cry wolf there's going to be nobody there do you know what I mean it, it, it just frustrates me it, it really does frustrate me and also like I do right this here this isn't a sympathy thing by the way this is me trying to explain something okay a few years ago I had to have a independent psychiatric report done um, for court let me just cover up uh, my daughter my daughter's date of birth and stuff so this is my confidential psychiatric report okay this was done a few years ago for court this is how many pieces of paper it is as you can see there's quite a lot there and people had to go into like really big details about me and stuff and I've been diagnosed with quite a few things not only have I got mental health issues I also have um, physical like issues like osteoporosis and stuff um, now I have been diagnosed with a whole lot of things like bipolar anxiety pseudo hallucinations um, I get I've got really bad reoccurring depression I've got emotionally unstable borderline personality disorder and then I've also got on top of that a personality disorder like the list goes on I'm not faking it I can prove it with all those documents but I do sometimes feel that when like I've mentioned in videos before oh I'm really struggling with my mental health today and then like a couple of days later I see that people have put videos out and all of a sudden they're banging on about their mental health issues as well it's just like don't copy people yes you may have mental health issues and stuff but just because they've put a video out about it doesn't mean that you need to go and put a video out about it and go looking for the sympathy card just don't do it it's not needed like I struggle going out um, I've got a support worker and I tend to only go out with my support worker or my partner I will go weeks without going outside because I cannot physically do it like I have panic attacks and stuff but also I can't walk that far because of my osteoporosis and I, I feel that a few people say that they don't go outside and stuff but then you find out that oh okay I've been to such and such place such and such place and such and such place and they put out videos about it but hold on a minute you just said that you never go outside now I will go out maybe once a week and if I don't go out once a week I will sometimes not go out for a few weeks on end now that is genuine issues of mine and I'm trying to work through them but I find that sometimes with some of the videos that are being put out from people it, that you're not being honest and you can even tell on the look of some of the people's faces that are in the video and you say it and they look at you as if to say that's not true well hold on a minute like if they're looking at you as if to say it's not true then don't you think all your viewers are going to realise it's not true as well oh goodness me anyway like I just get really 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 frustrated and I find it really hard watching some people's videos now um, so yeah I mean I'm really sorry if this is offending some people but like I I'm honest with you and then it's just like let's get down to editing videos as well I don't edit my videos what you see is what you get that's what I've recorded I don't pre-record videos either um, to put up at a later date I literally sit there and I record it on the day and I put it up that day 
but I've noticed oh sorry I'm just looking at my frame rates they're dropping oh well um obviously like yeah fair enough have pre-recorded videos if you want but when you sit there and you edit your videos and you're editing your videos and taking parts out and then re-recording and putting other parts in just to make yourself seem a lot worse off than you are or something i think that i think that's terrible in itself as well like it's just like that just shows another fake side of people um if I make a oopsie in my video, then I make an oopsie in my video. I don't go and edit it out. Well, what's the point? Like, I thought we were meant to be on here to show who we are and, you know, share ourselves with people. But if we're constantly editing our videos and changing stuff about them, then you're not actually really being that person, are you? And what people are watching isn't you. It's a fake you. Um, you don't need to edit your videos to try and get the subscribers and the views because if people want to watch you and subscribe to you then they're subscribing and watching you because they like the person that you are not the fake person um i've also noticed that when people are doing like the haul videos and stuff or they've bought stuff people are kind of um not being honest about the prices and stuff that they pay for things. Now, if you remember my very first June haul, um, I got quite a lot of things, pretty cheap, and I got up the prices on my phone to prove to you guys that I wasn't lying. Now, we all know what a clickbait title is, right? Well, I think a lot of the videos that we see on YouTube are clickbait titles. Like, take for instance, you get your packages through and you know damn well in your head that you've paid one pound two pound or one dollar two dollar um but when they come through they have like a value price like four to six cents or whatever it is or let's have a look for another one What's this? this one for instance value four dollars fifteen but I know for a fact that this I only paid £2 for. So, when people are making their videos, they're not understanding the prices. It's like, get it up on your phone and say what you actually did pay for it. Yeah? That value is just a postage value kind of thing. It's not what you actually paid for the item. So when you're showing, oh, six items and I paid under two dollars for all six items no you actually really didn't did you and if you go back and check on your pay um on your order history you'll see that you didn't and i'm sorry but i have been shopping on zoom for a very long time and um there's this a search button thing on zoom here you go hold on let me just try and get it up and you can put in it um like prices from and prices to and i tell you now look, let's click on baby stuff or to click baby care bath and shower products filter price any value so prices from and to so if i put prices to 50p oh that was 50 pound hold on bear with me 0.50 which would be 50p and we do save you'll notice that there's nothing under 50p okay now the deals of the hours normally go down to the cheapest so far that I have seen a deal of the hour let me just see if I can get up a deal of the hour deal of the hours look 95 95 1 8 now the cheapest ones that I have ever seen so lately since more and more people shop on there is the 90p there's nothing ever really normally under 90p so if you turn around and say oh yeah I got this for 25 recheck yourself because we know you're lying it's just another thing that really frustrates me like i will uh, if i if i get something cheap like remember like at, at the beginning of my gym hauls 
let's scroll all the way down I've bought loads of stuff I was getting stuff like 77p 81p um, where were those combs let's have a look I've got some really cool brushes for 81p I got some hair extensions for 81p I got that big makeup thing for 81p but look I proved to you guys how much I was spent look that comb selection that I had I got for 81p now that's when I first joined and the more and more people that shop on June and wish um, you won't find things that cheap anymore so like you're finding things for 90p at the cheapest which I guess in, in America and stuff is like 90 cent or something like that. You, you don't tend to find things cheaper than that anymore. So when it's got the value on it like that, that's not how much you paid. So you're just giving false information to people and that, that's really frustrating in itself. Um, oh goodness, I really have gone on a rant, haven't I? It, uh, I really didn't mean it to, it's just... Uh, this is this is a lot of the things that are affecting me from watching watching videos. It, I just like people to be themselves. Be honest. Be true. Don't lie. Don't be fake. Like, I don't sit there and do my makeup for a video. And if I haven't done my makeup or my hair for a video, I don't sit there and be like. Oh, I look so terrible today because I haven't done this, that and the other. Oh, God. Like, seriously? It doesn't matter. Just just be you. Don't pile on a face full of slap just for the sheer heck of it. Like... I don't know. I don't know. And like, I don't ask people to subscribe to my channel anymore. Like, if you want to subscribe to my channel, subscribe to it. If you don't want to be subscribed to it, then that's fine. I'm not going to make you. I don't, I don't need to be... Oh, come along and subscribe. Quick, quick, subscribe. Make, make me look bigger and better than I actually am. No, guys, if you like me, subscribe to me. If you don't like me, then don't subscribe to me, quite frankly. Like, I do my channel because... It gives me something to do. It's like upping my confidence and stuff a little bit. And I can just be me. I can be me. I'm sat. I know I'm sat in front of a camera. I wouldn't be able to do this if I was sat in a room full of people. Because I don't do well in groups and stuff. I can't, I, I, I'm not very good around people. Especially loads of people. And like, this has helped me a lot. It has. And I don't do it for money. Like, I haven't had a payment from YouTube yet. And I don't really expect to either. Like, I obviously, if you go into the monetization part, I have made a little bit of money. But not enough to be paid yet. And I'm not looking to be paid. And it just, it makes me feel that a lot of you are just looking to be paid so that you can go and buy more shit that you don't need just to try and get the views, just to try and get the videos out. Well, buy things as and when you can, actually can and you're not making yourself out of pocket. And don't sit there and complain that, oh no, I can't afford to pay my bill this month because I just went and spent this much on, on whatever. No, pay your bills first and then whatever you've got left, then yeah, go and get a couple of things off off the internet. That's fine, and then put up a video about it. That's, that's... Oh dear. I don't know. I, don't, I just really don't know anymore. I'm... I'm at that point in my life where I mean I'm going to be 32 this year and some of you are older than me but you act like 10 year olds we don't we, people don't want that 
people don't want a older person acting like a 10 year old that makes us thumbs down your video and skip through it or just plain and simply unsubscribe to your channel because we don't we don't need to see that you know it's just not necessary be the, be the person that you are be the age that you're meant to be and enjoy it embrace it Anyway, I guess I guess I should kind of leave this here, really, because I could go on. I really could go on, but I'm not going to. I have loads of packages here. I'm gonna do my dream haul, and then I think I'm just gonna go and sit with a nice hot chocolate or something. Me and Bump, and uh, yeah see how the rest of the day goes i guess thank you for those of you who have like sat through and listened to my rant i just thought it's stuff that needs to be said really you know i'm sure there's a lot of us that think a lot of this stuff but don't really get out there and say it so i'll be the one that says it for us all <laughs> anyway keep safe guys keep happy love you all Bye.